10 years of feminist cultural and political change. 10 years of creating a cost for sexism. 10 years of bold, cutting edge organizing. 10 years ago, we started a movement. Ultraviolet is a movement for justice for all of us, and we intend to win. When we launched in 2012, we didn't know how many others would join us in fighting back against the white supremacist patriarchy. 10 years later, our community of activists has taken over 20 million feminist actions. We're creating a better culture today, where gender justice is our lived reality, where everybody can have safety, freedom, and real opportunity, not just in the future, here and now, together. We're creating a gender-just future for all of us, and we're just getting started. Here are some of the incredible wins we've shared together over our first decade. We demand accountability for gender justice. Together, we demanded the Susan G. Komen Foundation restore donations to Planned Parenthood, pressured Fox News to fire Bill O'Reilly, forced the NFL to change their policy on abuse, supported survivors to lead the resistance to Kavanaugh's confirmation to the Supreme Court, and we worked to hold abusers like CBS chairman Les Moonves and R. Kelly accountable. We exposed corporations funding abortion bans and extremist anti-abortion candidates by showing them that we have the repro receipts. And time and time again, we've held social media platforms as feet to the fire for profiting from misogyny and racism online. We create the conditions for an anti-racist feminist future where everyone can thrive and a media climate where everyone is fairly represented. We demanded that a woman, the first woman in 20 years, moderate the 2012 presidential debate. We built the Women's Disinformation Defense Project to get the backs of women of color public leaders. We made history with Vice President Harris and Supreme Court Justice Jackson. And ultraviolet members were there calling out sexism and racism, demanding and ensuring a media climate that allowed Harris, Jackson, and all Black women to be judged by their merits. As the pandemic began in 2020, we told Congress that it was Black and Brown women, especially, who were on the front lines of the COVID-19 response, and yet were being left out and left behind. We were outraged by the murder of Breonna Taylor, and demanded justice with local organizers in Louisville to remind the world that Brianna was essential. We fight for justice and rights for all. We championed the Be Heard Act to end workplace harassment, expansion of the Violence Against Women's Act to better support indigenous survivors, and the passage of the Women's Health Protection Act, the removal of the Hyde Amendment, and the expansion of voting rights to protect our democracy. We changed not only what corporations, social media platforms, and the media say, but how they operate. And when the Supreme Court overturned Roe, we mourned. And then we mobilized. We drove support to organizations on the ground in Texas, called out and demanded platforms remove abortion disinformation, and came out in waves to say, we won't go back. Our first decade of feminist activism is just the beginning. We're here for the long run. To demand change in culture, politics, and policy. A gender just future for all of us. Text JOIN to 98688 to join the movement for a gender just future.